Hey, it's once again Random Pop Culture News Freak here, aka me, where you guys are wrestling, there's not your the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links free, and all my links just in case anything bad happens to the channel, like it gets deleted, shut down, terminated, or shadow banned, any of that sad stuff. But, anyways, I know this came out four or five days ago. By the time you guys read this, it might be Tuesday, it might be a Monday. I'm doing it both the same days on a Monday afternoon. So, there's that. Playing some Halo Infinite music in the background. Trees. Through the trees. Forest through the trees. This comes from William D'Angelo from VGC, VGC Charles. Just jump into it. Got no other extra shit I gotta say. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. If you wanna stick to the end. So it says Halo Infinite Online. Co op and for Forged to launch in November. Season 3 delays in March 2023. Even though that's half a year, less than a year, five months from now. It is like a long time, but for me personally, I think we'll get to that pretty fast. It says, Will and D'Angelo posted four days ago. 343 Industries has released an updated roadmap for future update for Halo Infinite. This includes a number of the links. This is the first time in like three, six months I've been talking about anything Microsoft, Xbox 360, or Xbox One related. I'm not going to lie to you, at the end, I'll tell you the reason why and the future of this channel uh, for video game industry news. And how sadly I'm not going to be on here next year. But anyways, let's keep continuing on if you guys are still here with me. The beta, the Forge mode, and the campaign network will co-op will launch November 8th. As part of the winter update, 343 Industries has decided to cancel split screen entirely. It says, quote, we have made the difficult decision to, to not ship campaign split screen and co-ops to take the resources that we would use <clears throat> that go after the list and all these other things. And we're going to talk about them, quote, says Joseph Staten, head of the creative 343 Industries. So there's that. So also goes on to say, if this thing lets me go fast, I've never read from VGC Charge the first time I'm ever reading from them. So it says this past winter, or excuse me, this coming winter update. <clears throat> I don't know why that fucking got in the way. Excuse me. Winter update will run from November 8th to March 7th, alongside Forge to an online co-op. We'll also add... <clears throat> Free 30 tier bit battle pass. Two new maps called the Detachment and the Agarin. Agrilicry? Agaric? How do you say that? I'm just going to call it acrylic. I will showcase the Forge is capable of. Match the XP beta and the new covert one flag mode. This winter con congeniency. Cognitive mode. Whatever you say that. I think it's contingency. There it is. Contingency 2 December event and quality of life improvement. Season 3 will also be running from March 7th to June 7th, 27th. Wow, all next year pretty much to the summer. Wow. In the first month of summer. That's pretty fucking wild there, honestly. So it also goes on to say da -da -da, it will also add new maps for the arena and big team battles. The new M392 bandwidth weapons. Oh, that's what they are. New shroud screen equipment. A new 100 tier Battle Pass, custom game browsers, and the in-game reporting new VIP escalation game modes, and a new Fracture event, a new narrative for the update, update Ford beta, and a new quality of life improvements, blah, 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 fucking blah. So there's that. Echoes of the Winter Within, Forge Battle, Campaign Network, and Missionary Replays, Area Big Times, Theme Battles, M3090 Ben. Oh, that's what they are. Little tools and weapons in the game. That's what it is. 30 tier bash, da, 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 blah blah blah. It's pretty much the same freaking horse shit as usual. Typical fucking Halo. You know how I am with Animal Crossing, The Sims, and Halo is just my least favorite fucking franchises of all time. You know how I am with that. I'm sorry if you guys like it. For me, it just never really gave me any interest into it, that type of hobby video game. So let's continue on. Oh, I guess I could read this from this guy. Long. Time after the gamer, William Angelo was first introduced in the VGC charge in 2007. After years of supporting the site, he was brought in as a wow 2010 junior analyst, working his way up to the lead to analyst in 2012 and taking over the hardware estimates in 2017. He has expanded his involvement in the gaming community by producing film content as well. Wow, YouTube and Twitch channel, kick out, kick ass, congrats! You can contact the author at Twitter at TrunksWD. In my opinion, you shouldn't really contact none of these people because some of these journos and these fools out there, shit, they're too SJW cancel culture, wokeism, shit, just blinds them to everything political, in my personal opinion. Yeah, so overall thoughts, using opinions, Halo, Halo, freaking Halo. I mean, the last time we even talked about Halo on this channel is actually a positive vibe thing. Since I'm not a hardcore Halo fan from the old school Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox Series um, 360, 
or 720, it was supposed to be 720, but it never became 7 fucking 20, unfortunately. Yeah, I looked at all this. The only two things I'm really extremely sad and upset about, you can't do physical close-to-close -close contact with, like, dual split screen. They took that away. Why the hell did they fucking take that away? 343 Gaming fucking industry. What the hell was wrong with your fucking goddamn brain? Stupid fuckers. Dumbasses of the internet. I'm just saying. Just putting it out there. It's fucking gosh dang putting it out there. But anyways. Sorry, I had to check out somewhere real quick. But, uh... It's sad. This is going to sound like an old boomer in me, old millennial boomer, but back in the day, I'm going to say it like my back in my days. And this is even for the SNES era. SNES era, the Sega Genesis, Sega Dreamcast era, the PS1, PS2, PS3, and PS4 era, even the freaking old school Xbox, Xbox 360 era. The fat big boy Xbox era. How many of you guys remember that? How many Gen Z or kids probably are way too little to fucking understand that? Go Google it or Bing it or something. Go on. DuckDuckGo, or even Brave.net, if you want to. I will say this. Back in the day when we actually had IRL friends, you know, granted, when I was in elementary school, I didn't have no IRL friends. My cousins were the closest thing, and I still live in enough state and work at that time. Um, I used to have so many of them, too. I played with them for hours, and all these split-screen things, and PS1, PS2 stuff, the GameCube, the freaking Wii. Well, that's when I moved over to Vegas, and it was the Wii and the GameCube at the time. And uh, the freaking N64. I used to play it on dual split screen, four split screen all the time. That's when you had a real connection with actual people that you loved. That were your family members, that were your cousins, that were your IRL friends, you know? You were able to have a human interaction with them to like, play video games. With the old school controller and everything with the link cable, you know? And it hurts to see me the Halos going in this direction and they're never going to have that shit ever again. They're completely taking away split screen fucking features and you... Bullshitting at me and crapping on my chest, my guy? Are you for real? And then number two, what's even worse than that, they're going to take away all these freaking other things, and they're going to rebate into something else like match points. Why the hell would they fucking do that, honestly? Oh my god, that is so fucking stupid. Match XP beta? So you got to wait till you get experience points? You have to wait till a beta thing to give you experience points for your leveling up your guy? Leveling up your guy or whatever, whoever it is, whether it's Master Chief or some other dude. What kind of puta mierda? Bullshit! Tenga tu madre! Fucking crap is that shit, man. Seriously, I haven't been pissed off on gaming news in a while. That's sad. They hide all this shit behind a fucking paywall. Microtransaction, DLC, loot box, cryptocurrency shit, you know? It's freaking sad. Quality of life improvements. My freaking a-hole is better than my quality of life improvements. The only good things that came out of this is, like, the freaking... The new levels, the new stages, like the Fracture Event level, Forge Beta shit, that's cool. And then, like, what else? The Winter con Contingency Event, that's cool. And everything else is just completely mad about trash vibe, it just sucks. And again, it's like that whole Call of Duty thing and all that other stuff, you know. Ugh. Battlefield 5 is just, just an FPS, looter, shooter sort of game. It's been like this since, like, the late 90s, early mid late 2000s, especially when I was in high school. It started blowing up way more with Call of Duty and Battlefield. I knew friends of mine that were like hooked on freaking, freaking crack cocaine heroin addicts. I was hooked on that shit big time, like a mother effort to Call of Duty and Battlefield. I just was looking at like zombie sheep idiots. Like, why the hell do you like that crap? Happened to the old school platform stuff. So Spider Dragon. I was still in the Crash, um, Crash Bandicoot, Spider Dragon, all the Pokemon shit. I was in the like Japanese JRPGs at the time, so I could just do. Flat screening stuff, whatever, or just run side scrollers. I was still in the best shit while they were in that stuff. I just, I looked at the most utter ridiculous as fucking stupidity, idiocracy, humanity, in my personal opinion. That's what I thought. And uh, future updates I want to I'm probably never going to do uh, Microsoft Xbox news after this. That's how angry this shit fucking got me. Sony and Nintendo news I'll still keep covering, but Microsoft, you're, you're dead to me. I'm sorry. Anyone that really, really likes Halo now, you're probably going to unsubscribe to my channel. This was. Liz, I can't help you with that. I gotta do my own thing. Sorry. But for Nintendo and Sony, I'll still keep continuing that till January. January next year, you won't hear from me talking about that anymore. That's it. Take it easy. I'm fucking done here. I'm so goddamn drained from this shit, man. I really am. Really freaking out. I don't like how the video gaming industry fucking news is going. That's all I gotta say for now. I'm out of here. And uh, Jeff Keighley gets Kiss Grits and Kiss House, huh? He only does it for his fucking billion dollar paychecks. He doesn't give a fuck about the fans. Doesn't care about the fanboys and fanboys that are out there. I do. Honestly. And to see that shit ridicule, like, 
this um, Roman Empire esque like stuff a video game industry goes and higher and higher. It's just and this they're gonna start making next year. What I heard a rumor the seventy dollar freaking games for Nintendo Switch. Are you bullshitting me, my man? What the hell's going on with this earth? That's all I gotta say. That's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Links to subscribe down below. I'm done. Here. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Close my damn bosom thing. The top of the morning. I'll see you next week. Guys, good day. Good night. Love you, members out there. Stay tuned for your down channel. Good evening. Good evening. Ministry news and then mom news. Which is your drama news. And once in a while, once every two or three months out of the whole month, I'll do reaction review segments on anime manga news and once in a while drama news as well. And that's it. Take it easy. Peace out, my shout out. Late skin bio. See you on the flip side. Do not take the freaking um, nanobots on the uh, micro gels, the hydro bell, nano network shit. Don't take any of that shit in your bodies. Don't look at the transhumanism shit and all this other stuff. Shout out to my boy KJ Zaz, worst scariest movie ever. I'll leave the link to his video down below if you want to know about that. And this carbon shit. And any of that stuff. Do not take in your freaking system. That shit will slowly take you out. The bioengineering shit. Just don't buy any of it. Take it easy. Deuces. Stay extra safe out there, my friends. Goodbye. Later.